Hello and welcome to another recitation session. In this session, we will be talking about the final project for your core CSE 259. It's based on Prolog and uh, is a simple project compared to the other projects that you have performed. It's a group pro team project. Unlike the previous one, in this, we will not be providing you code. We will not be providing you sample code. It's all yours. You will have to work on the design and the entire program. The project description is available under modules, under your modules, final team project. In this, along with your code and write-up, you will also be presenting or submitting a write-up of your uh, project. It is based on the song, I am my own grandpa. And this is an open-minded project. That is, it's for you to decide on how you would be designing and writing your code and statements. So the requirements has been provided in terms of a song. You have to summarize the facts that are available in the song, convert them into the appropriate rules or design the rules based on that and then write out this as a prologue program. So this is the song. Uh, the lyrics of the song are here. It's available in YouTube on a link. And there is also a Wikipedia page that talks extensively about this song. So the song goes more or less like, uh, there's this person who marries a widow who has a daughter. Daughter is married to his father and they have children. And so his grandson becomes his brother and his uh, wife, who is the mother of his mother, is his grandmother. And so he becomes his own grandfather. And that's the basic gist of the song. For more details, go through the song and find out the facts. The idea of doing this project is for you to identify facts from English and write them as logical statements. You should be able to minimize the number of facts and maximize the number of rules that you get. Predicates such as grandparent, grandmother, grandfather, parent, father, mother, siblings, uh, and so on and so forth uh, is what you will need. You may have to define some of the rules based on the other predicates that are available over here. The way to execute the program is to write a simple function called rUnit, which uh, calls the other functions or rules that you define in your prolog program. And on calling rUnit, it should execute uh, the appropriate program. For sample testing, we would use things like daughter red hair i, meaning is the daughter having red hair? And if that is true, it should give it as true. Mother red hair. Grandfather, I and I, am I my own grandfather, which should say true. Now I'll go through the project description available in Canvas for more details. Just to look at a sample implementation. So he says he married this widow. So I, the widow and he become, uh, I become uh, spouses to one another. So these are the facts right in the initial. And they, here are certain rules which says daughter is so and so and mother so and so. And on executing red R unit, so it says mother red hair I and daughter red hair I, I and it should say yes as the answer. So this is just a sample implementation. Uh, all the facts haven't been captured. Look through the facts. And as I said, we would not be providing any code for you over here. It's for you to design and develop the entire program. Well, if you are designing and developing, then the testing also has to be provided by you. Okay, so here is a little further implementation where you are checking if A and B, A is the mother of B. Uh, similarly, is A the daughter of B? Uh, rules of this type is what you will have to implement. And then when I execute something like our unit, it would say 
is red hair the mother of I? And you say, answer is true, and so on and so forth. As we saw, along with the code and a readme for the code, you are supposed to provide a write-up. For this write-up, it should have a small introduction to the entire uh, program, a background of it, which is uh, about the poem and some of the details from the poem, an implementation aspect of it, which is the facts uh, that you have designed or developed from the poem, along with some of the important rules that you feel are to be provided. Uh, you also talk about the coding aspects of it. And finally, you provide uh, testing, that is testing uh, the test uh, functions that you have used and the sort of output that you uh, got from the testing. Finally, you provide a one paragraph conclusion followed by references. Definitely the song would be one of your references. So you have an input from there. You have used prolog, so prolog manuals or whatever you have referred to for prolog would become set of inputs. For the references, follow the IEEE format. Do not make this extensive write-up, maybe about two to three pages of write-up. Do not exceed three pages. So as we said, there should be a good explanation. And remember that the queries that you provide are the basis of us to test. The queries that you use for testing should definitely look at how you have designed your code. It should be based on the design. Over and above your queries, we would be doing a very minute amount of testing. So if you look at the write-up, this is how it would look. For example, the background, we'll talk about something about the song, who has written it, how has it been developed, and some of the details from there. How would we do a testing of your program finally? Our first input is your write-up. So we will go by your write-up. Use the facts that you have provided in your write-up and the test cases you have provided in your write-up. So your write-up should provide the test case along with the appropriate result, which me as a tester is supposed to expect. Along with this, we would be checking some very, very simple facts like daughter red hair, I, mother red hair, I, grandfather, I, and I. And these are supposed to provide some inputs based on the facts of the poem. This is just to check if all the facts in the poem have been captured in your write-up, in your code. That's it for the final project. I suppose this is simple enough for you to do. Thank you and best wishes with the project.